Today on Low Nose, two microphones, one compressor. Sounds kind of dirty. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Notes here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. All right, so how did we come up to this? How did? Why do we want to connect two microphones to one compressor? I mean, yeah, I could have gotten an audio device that had multiple inputs. I could have gotten a mixer that had multiple inputs. I could have gotten a, an audio interface that had multiple inputs, but why would I want to connect two microphones to one compressor? Well, let me back up for a second. For the longest time, I always thought, if there was a podcast environment and I had two microphones and I had one really expensive audio compressor, I really don't want to buy a second audio compressor. Is there any way I can actually connect these two microphones to one compressor so I can use the compressor features of the voice channel on these two microphones? I'm not looking to make crazy sound effects. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, cre cr uh, crazy high passing or EQing on the voice. I just want to use the compressor the compressor of the voice channel on these two microphones so the audio comes out clean and well balanced. And was this actually possible? So I then started my search out on the interwebs for this so-called solution. And I found it. And the solution came in this little guy right here. Look at this. Hello. And this, my friends, is the Hossa YXF119 Dual XLR3F to XLR3M now, this cable is designed to connect to two XLR outputs to one XLR input. So it can be used to connect two microphones to one channel of a mixing console, or in this scenario, our compressor. So how do we connect this device? Really simple. You just take the microphone cable from your microphone, plug it into one of the Ys, plug the other phone into the other phone, other microphone into this Y, and then connect the end part to your compressor or whatever device that you want. Uh, now, within this case, right now, we are not using this just yet because it's right here. Um, this is how it sounds like with just the microphone connected to the compressor just by itself. Let's set it up and let's do our comparison. Okay, so the Hosa YXF119 is connected on both microphones, and this is what it sounds like. Now, I really don't hear a difference in tone from the actual microphones. Um, I did have to boost up the gain just a little bit on the compressor. It looks like when you connect both microphones, maybe because it takes a little, maybe it's dragging more power or it's dragging just, it's asking for a little more gain because now that it's essentially powering two different microphones, um, maybe there is a little bit diminishing in the decibel levels from both microphones. So I did have to turn up the volume up a little more on the microphone. Now, what's my chain? Well, right now I am going from the two Rode NT1As down the down the cables, and I'm using the same exact cables for both microphones. I'm using the the Rode cables that came with actually these two microphones to make sure that everything is just the same. Keep our variables, keep our control as close as possible. All right, so it's going from the microphones down our cables into our Y splitter into our Aphex 230 voice channel. Uh, compressor, voice processor, all that good stuff. Going into my, from there, going into my Yamaha mixer, being recorded into Audacity. And it's being recorded in a mono uh, right now. Now, keep in mind, since it is a Y splitter, it's not going to give you a stereo sound, meaning that you're not going to get like a left channel and a right channel from the microphones. Uh, so you can like, so you won't be able to edit them individ individually in post because it is all being record into one signal into one mono signal it's all going to be together so don't think that you're going to be able to, be able to like pan one to the left pan one to the right and be able to edit it separately in post okay so right now it's sounding decent with both of the same microphones let me give you a little uh, separation test maybe kind of take it out of phase just a little bit and here i am with the my right your left on this microphone hopefully it sounds different since i'm not close enough to this microphone for it to actually pick me up in some kind of way And now I am on this microphone, giving you a sense of what it sounds like when I am not too close to this microphone at all. Let's go ahead and add the, the oral exciter, kind of give me that big fat bottom sound um, from the compressor. And okay, so it's working for this microphone as we jump to this microphone, and it sounds, look, it sounds like it's affecting this microphone. All right, so we've got the effect from the voice channel adding effects to both of the microphones because of the Y splitter. Once again, I had to raise up the volume. All right, so 
now that we've done that, what if we don't have the same exact microphones? How would it actually sound? Would Does one microphone demand more power or more gain from a device than the other? Like since these are identical, you would think that the the um the advantages and the shortcomings are identical but what if we put a different brand a different microphone into here how would it sound all right we got a new challenge right here it is the audio technica at4040 being paired up or matched with or why split with the road nt18 now i do hear maybe just a bit of a difference of effect okay um going on of course not since they are two different microphones, I am hearing my voice kind of like simultaneously differently. You know, since since it's not the two NT1As working like at the same time, since their specs are the same, I kind of hear like a, a, a slight phasing of my voice going on. Let me just kind of face the this away from me. And yeah, okay, so that's kind of being reduced right now. But this is what the AT4040 sounds like on the Aphex 230 with the Y splitter. And now this is the Rode NT1A. With the Y splitter on it on the AFX 230. Um, do I hear an actual vocal uh, tone difference? Um, I don't think so. I mean, obviously, the each microphone has their own characteristic. As far as the Y splitter kind of tainting their individual sound, I'm not really. No, actually, I actually think I do. I I think um because of the lack of power from the different microphones of splitting them up, I I feel like. It, maybe the microphones are not I don't want to say that they're not being fully powered either the microphone's powered or it's not powered um, but uh, I, I man there, there there is a slight hint of something going on um, and I don't know if it's because we have two different microphones or if it's because of the Y splitter um, or maybe my ears and your ears were just used to hearing different things I normally have these microphones connected to my Yamaha mixer so I guess since I'm having it played through the Aphex, maybe I'm just used to hearing a different sound now. Let's turn on the big bottom. And the big bottom is engaged. Oh, yeah. And is it the big bottom on the AT40? Now it sounds really good on this microphone. Um, but still, it the Y splitter is, is still doing its job. Now, if there is one thing that I am noticing differently right now is that I do hear a sense of background noise and it's not actually noise from the background i think it's inherent line noise from the actual y splitter now i wouldn't say that the splitter is actually the cleanest thing i mean you could i'm pretty sure you can barely hear it but me having the, my headset on i can hear a faint something of slight like um uh, going on N not a big deal if, if i'm talking if something's going on i'm eqing and all that stuff is just going away whatever but you know being you know, being the the microphone geeks that I am, and that I'm sure you are, you know, it's it's it is what it is. Is my is my thing glowing? Did the lights turn on at this thing? Guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe and also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this entire setup. What, do you think it'll work for you? Do you have any other questions that you would like to see this Y splitter work on? Let me know, guys. I'd love having a conversation with you. Let's get this going. Any questions about the equipment that I use in my channel? Check it out in the description down below. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.